here this video is a demonstration is uh, for your one uh, uh to the one of your homework problem is a reaction support reaction calculation and yeah this problem maybe so many people have asked me this problem so okay i think it needs some demonstration it say when the air brakes are applied the nose wheel the nose wheel is means this wheel okay is there two force on the end of landing gear okay this is the landing gear this is landing gear and is there two force on the end of this landing gear i think that means it is there two force on this on this c and b okay and this tire this wheel has a two force okay the force six kilonewton point up and uh, six, two kilonewton point to the right here and said determine the horizontal and vertical component of reaction at the pin c and the force in the strut a b okay so this is a very typical support reaction calculation and uh, if you can calculate the support uh, support reaction only all, all you need to have all you have to do is do the rigid body equilibrium okay because uh is uh so everything is statics okay so rich body equilibrium so you so 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 and this and, and this problem can be reduced as a 2d problem okay 2d will only have three uh, equation x component force equal to zero y component force equal to zero and the total moment is equal to zero okay and uh, for this problem we draw the free body diagram of this problem first okay so and let me see okay we need a space to draw the free body diagram okay ah in the last video i didn't draw the free body diagram hmm okay <laughs> Okay, so this problem also this problem is a free body diagram. So the free body diagram will look like this. Okay, and we have interesting on this point C here. Okay, and we assume the C because C is a pin support, and pin support we only have the two. Uh, pin support pin support only had the reaction reaction force and no reaction moment okay because they can do the free rotation so we just assume the reaction force as c is here cy point up and cx here okay so this right and the end at the other end the tire here he give you okay this tire is uh um has two force okay here is two kilo newton and here is is six kilo newton okay and the force a b is here okay there's a force a b here okay okay and then he say this angle is 30 degree okay this angle is 30 degree and uh, any other information and give you the information here here this is a okay and give you the information the height here the height information okay draw a line here here is 400 and millimeter this is 600 millimeter okay okay find a cy and cx okay and to use the rigid body equilibrium okay so let's do the rigid body equilibrium first of all summation f f f x equal to zero okay let's look at the whole system do we have any x component force yeah here's the x component force so two kilonewton okay and f a b this force is strut the strut strut force here okay it, it, we can decompose the force and decompose force you will have the x component here okay and uh, yeah maybe I, I i did a very bad drawing there's an angle here okay what's the angle here okay so let's see um yeah do we have any information okay so here is 20 degree so um so what's the angle here if we want to decompose the fab we we need to know the angle here sorry sorry about that it's really a bad drawing okay uh i think i need to redraw this okay mm. sorry about that I'm not really good at drawing uh, I think F A B so it's A is here, A is here, so F A B if I say F A B is here, okay. And here is 30 degree and the so what's the angle here? 
what's the angle here what's the angle here okay what's the angle here mm, let's see because this horizontal component so here is 70 degrees so this is so this angle must be says that must be 70 degree as well because this is a horizontal line this is also a horizontal line is a parallelogram the feature of a parallelogram okay i hope you understand so if this here is 70 degrees so the question mark will be 40 degree okay and then we can write the equation okay two is x component so and we plus f a and point to the right so it's positive and then f a b times cosine 40 degree and it's point to the right okay so it's positive and uh, also we have final we have cx okay equal to zero okay and this equation we only have we only have one equation but two unknown not solvable okay and we give it another one use another equation y component here six newton point up and here f a b f a b sine 40 degrees times sine 40 degree okay and then we have c y point up okay right now we have two equation but can we solve f a b c x and c y uh still not doable because right now we, we have, yeah we we already have two equation but we have three unknowns f a b c x and c y so it's not solvable okay so we need another equation so the equation here i use um i use the c as a reference point to calculate the total moment of system okay so and then if we use the c as a reference point we don't we don't have to consider the moment created by c y and c x because these two force acting as this reference point there is no labrum okay and uh, okay so um so we have to yeah the the, the, the difficulty of prob this problem is the calculating the the moment okay so let's see this six kilo newton this six kilo newton force it will have labor arm okay oh uh, so sorry it will create a moment okay so uh the ref reference point here so we what where is the labor arm so if we draw the line of extension you will see the labor arm is here it's one labor arm is here so here is totally is um 1000 millimeter in tangent this here is 100 millimeter times tangent 20 degree okay so reference point here and the force is point out so it will create a count uh, clockwise rotation so it will become negative so it's negative uh six and times one thousand millimeter but tangent 20 because the here is one thousand times tangent 20 degree okay times tangent 20 degree and it's neg negative okay that's the moment created by this force and what's the moment does this force two kilonewton also create a moment okay let's see okay the magnitude is two kilonewton okay if we draw a line of extension here and the labor arm will be here and the labor arm is already very clear it's 1000 millimeter okay okay 1000 millimeter and uh, it's the reference point here and the force is point to the right uh, point to the right so it will create a counterclockwise rotation so it's well it's positive okay so it's positive and right now the uh the only thing left the uh, most difficult part what's the moment created by this f a b force okay and this a b force we can decompose f a b in the horizontal direction it's times cosine 30 degree okay and the vertical direction sine 40 degree and these two force unfortunately these two force all create a moment okay so for the horizontal force fab cosine 40 degree okay the lever arm is here okay the lever arm just 400 millimeter so so this one so just times 400 okay very good and uh, if it's sine 40 the sine 40 degrees is a vertical force where's the labor arm the labor arm would be ah that's very difficult to identify okay and if, if this this vertical component of fab the labor arm will be uh, 
Level one will be here, here, here. Level one, level one will be here. Okay. And uh, what's the what's the distance here? Mm, uh, let me see. So it will be four four hundred millimeter. Four hundred millimeter. Ah,、uh, let's see. Four hundred millimeter times tension forty degree. Hmm. Let me see. Thirty here. Ah, so sorry, sorry. Thirty here. Forty here. So here is twenty. So, uh, this lever arm here, I think, four hundred times tension twenty degree. Okay, because here is twenty degree. So this four hundred times tension twenty degree. So finally, here I think is um. Four hundred times tangent twenty degree. Okay, and the vertical force is here. It's vertical component. Here is a horizontal component. This horizontal component is FAB horizontal component reference point here. So it will create a counterclockwise rotation. So it's positive. And the vertical component here, it will create reference point here. So here it will create a clockwise rotation. So it will clockwise rotation. So it will become a negative. Okay, and then this all together will be auto become to zero. And this equation we only find we find this equation. We only have one one unknown. So one equation, one unknown is solvable. So I think this will let you to get the FAB. Okay. And I think I need a calculation to make sure this is right. Okay, let me see. Minus six times one thousand ten ten twenty plus plus minus nine forty degree times four hundred times ten twenty degree. Okay, yeah, my equation list here is correct. Okay, so if you use your calculator, okay, I believe、really, I believe the FAB will be zero point eight six three seven kilonewton. Okay, that's the magnitude of this force AB. That's magnitude of this force AB. Mm-hmm. Yes,、yeah, magnitude of this force AB. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think maybe some will. Someone asked, "Why, why did I know the direction of FAB is point to the, is point to this direction? Um, why, why, why not point this to direction? I think if you assume point to this direction, I think you still got the same answer. So you still got the same. I think still got the same answer. The magnitude is, I think, is always still the same. Okay, so I just assume this direction is much easier for calculation. Okay, so and if you got F A B, so we get get F A B. We can we have it was because we have solved F A B. So you can put F A B in there. You get the C X and C Y. Okay, so if you uh put put F A B in these two equation, you have C X. Let me see, C X will become minus two point six six two. Kilo Newton, and C one is minus six point five 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 kilo Newton. Okay, so because initially we assume the direction of this reaction force is point to the right and point up, so as initially we assume it's all positive, but finally we get a negative answer. So that means the real direction of C X is point to the left, and the real direction of C Y is point down. Okay, so that's what the meaning of this 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 negative sign. We initially assume these two is all positive, but we get negative answer. That means it's reverse. You the direction is reverse to your initial assumption. So the final answer is C X point to the left, C Y point down. Okay, F A B is zero point eight six three seven kilo newton. Okay, so that's the prob. Uh, that's the reaction force calcul. Uh, react support reaction calculation. Hopefully, you can more familiar with this pro. Uh, this type of calculation. Okay. Just be careful, especially when you calculate a moment. Just be careful. What's your for component decompose the force and trying to find lever arm? I think finally lever arm is the most most difficult part in this type of quest problem. Okay, 
So I'll just stop video here. See you in another video. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>